to you the story of the first snow leopard cubs ever to be born in the north of England. But up until recently, they remained fairly shy and out of the public's view at Lakeland Wildlife Oasis in South Cumbria. Not today, though, as Katie Hunter reports. When you're 10 weeks old, negotiating a ladder can be a tricky task. Especially when Dad's busy relaxing elsewhere. These two baby snow leopards were born at the end of May. Staff had to keep their arrival secret at first to allow them to settle in their surroundings. Mum is quite wary, um, whereas Pav, the dad, is just an absolute softie. He's like a giant house cat. <laughs> um, and the babies, they've got a little bit of attitude. They'll give you a, a little tiny hiss if you're getting a bit too close to them. Yeah, the, the female, Tara, she's the one to look out for. She's the one who doesn't the growl. <laughs> Mum didn't growl at the cameras, but she did stare while standing guard over her newborns. And like most babies, these two spend a lot of time sleeping, oblivious to the crowds hanging around to see them. I think they're really cute, but they're a bit shy, and it's cute how they stay close to their mum all the time. They're cute, they're fantastic, the big cats, you know, we're just lovers of big cats, so to see some actual cubs is quite rare. So, and they're endangered, yeah, they're endangered, so it's important to, to see them. I think they're really comfortable on the mummy snow leopards. She's right, they were so comfy, they didn't move from this position for more than two hours. But when they did, they seemed to enjoy tentatively exploring their surroundings. Snow leopards are an endangered species, with only four to 6,000 left in the wild. These two are part of a captive breeding program. In the wild, because they'll stay with the female for about two years before they start wandering off on their own. Uh, obviously, captivity is quite different. Um, but it's up to the stud bookkeeper where our cubs will go, and who they will go and then breed with to improve the captive population. So baby snow leopards are a rare sight, and in case you're wondering, these two did eventually make it up the ladder, under the watchful eye of Dad. Katie Hunter, ITV News, Milnthorpe. Gorgeous. Anyway, the snow leopard babies still don't have names, <laughs> but we have had some suggestions on our Facebook page. Here we go. Matt Seymour from Carlisle thinks the cubs should be called Sparkle and Ice Cube. Good one. Make it melt, don't they? Yeah. Um, <laughs> eight year old Joe Graves from Carlisle has been in touch and thinks the names Poppy and Star would be best. I think I agree. What's I've got a couple here, mine are better, obviously. Uh, Rebecca Louise Fedding from Workington has come up with some Disney inspired names. Yeah. She thinks the girl cub should be named Nala from The Lion King oh, yes. and the boy cub should be named Sven, who was the reindeer in the film Frozen. Ah, yes, good go. one. Which is what we haven't been recently. Not Frozen, definitely warm, but it is turning unsettled, I'm afraid. Oh. It's not staying completely summery. We're all looking to the